Hey, welcome back to Kev's Can Cave. Kev with you. Appreciate each and every one of you stopping by and supporting my channel with your likes and subscribes and uh, comments. Uh, you're all good people. Thank you. I appreciate it. I really, really do. Uh, the Nyko Stainless Hardened Digital Calipers, 6-inch. Come with the carrying case, extra battery. Come with instructions, which... I didn't really find super helpful besides had a pretty cool picture in them and let you know that it took an LR44 battery. But what it failed to mention, which I thought was kind of odd, was the coolest thing about these calipers is when you move the thumb wheel, the unit turns on, which I thought was really cool. So what we have here, stainless steel, never had a bit of rust on them in three years. Got a little serial number going on down there. Close them, zero them, you're ready to go. You got millimeters, you got inches, and you got fractions. Let's see if I can do that better here. Anyway, on the top here, I thought it was pretty decent. You can make inside measurements, which I've always used this little, one of my dad's Lufkin tools here. And then I would take the inside measurement, put it down into the, micrometer and measure but this right here it just tells you what it is right there and uh we'll do a quick measurement here i always zero them out we'll go in here and measure the inside of this and there you go three eighths right on the money i checked them out on the on the micrometer and i was very happy with it so inside measurements able to make outside measurements here and if you do measure something, bring it all the way up to here. And then measure from the bottom. That's 1 16th. Anyway, pretty impressed there. You got a thumb wheel, which is easy to move around. You got a tightener here to keep your measurement locked on. Or if you want to... Just zero in on something and then tighten it down, you can. So you can adjust the drag on this thumb wheel right from here, and that works really well. Another thing I thought was pretty cool about it is uh, you can make depth measurements by, let me see here, loosen that back up. Say you wanted to measure the inside of this container Two and seventeen sixty fourths in fractions. Let's get down to inches. Two two six eight five. So able to make depth measurements, inside caliper measurements, outside caliper measurements. The chain you see dangling here is one of my own deals. Uh, I would recommend not keeping the battery in it like I did. Because I hate taking batteries in and out, but the battery actually corroded a little bit on me. So that led me to making this dummy cord for it because I figured I'd lose the battery lid. But that's just me. I'm not saying it's good or bad. It's just something I did, and I'm not going to lose the lid now. But uh, I have no complaints whatsoever with this tool. Uh, I wanted something cheap. I'm not a machinist. Nothing I do is super 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 accurate i just wanted something i could take and get a get a quick measurement and it did that exactly for me so uh that's my review on the nyco stainless hardened six inch caliper oh one other thing say if you're you wanted something to end up being two inches this is something i thought was pretty cool zero it out and then like say you're turning it on a lathe, wood lathe or whatever, and it'll let you know. It'll count you down to where your destination is, which is two inches. Thought that was pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that's my review. I hope you have just as much luck with your tool as I have mine. Three years ownership, I'm tickled pink. All right, thank you much. Kev Cave, out.